Hey everyone. I wanted to talk a little bit today about something I get asked a lot. About three years ago, I all of a sudden started painting faces. I don't know where as an artist that would say, I just don't paint faces, it's not what I do. All of a sudden, I started making this a regular practice. And when asked what happened, why did you do that, what changed? The only thing I can go back to is a mentoring weekend I spent with Robert Burridge. If you don't know who he is, you totally need to look him up. So I would say about three years ago, Robert Burridge came to teach at my art studio for the first time. Um, there was It was sold out and I wasn't able to plug myself into the workshop. However, just being in his presence, he had said about a dozen things that totally resonated with me, that caught me kind of off guard, resonated like really, wow, okay. Um, so about a year later, I had cleared my schedule and kind of said, uh, no matter what's going on in my life, Bill, you're going to have to take care of that because I really feel like I just need to go to this mentoring workshop in California across the country and spend four days with Robert Burridge. So it's a very small, um, it's about seven students in his own private studio in California um, near Santa Barbara. And of course, for life me, I can't remember the town. Um, but it was very intimate and it was being your own body of work and just work there and he's kind of mentoring. Well, every day I painted outside and being in North Carolina, we don't have breezes here. It's not like a cool day, just go outside and hang out. Just, it's not a thing. It's like four days a year that that's a thing. And I asked Bob to find me and he actually had a Jimmy rig and easel together for me to paint outside. And it was the, just even the presence of being outside with these free range chickens running across your feet. It was amazing. And I just started painting. And every day at the end of the day, Bob would come out and he would sit down, pull up a stool, sit with me. I had my headphones on, I was doing my thing. And he would just sit there and hand me a glass of red wine. And then I'd be painting and I'd turn around and he'd be gone. We'd have dinner together and the next day would start all over again. I'd go outside, set up my paints, paint a little bit more, you know, enjoying the breeze, just enjoying, I guess in a way, the freedom. I was just a girl that painted and I wasn't Donna Downey in front of a classroom or anything like that. I was just a girl and her paints. So next day he comes out, sets up a stool, he hands me a glass of red wine, stays there a little while and walks away. Okay, last day, same thing. Hands me a glass of wine and I turn and look at him and he goes, take that off because, <laughs> you know, I'm wearing headphones. And I took them off and he hands me the glass of red wine and he says, you know, I've been watching you for the past several days and I've watched you paint yourself into corners and paint yourself out and not give up and persevere. And he goes, I know that you're not a, you know, classically trained artist, but certainly you have practiced and put enough time in that there is nothing that a classically trained artist doesn't have on you. And I, I was like, puffed up. I was like superhero big. Yeah, that's my mentor. And he's saying this and he's seen that in my work. And how cool is that? And then he says to me the words that I think altered the course of my art career practice. He says, however, it is blatantly obvious to me that you have no idea why you paint. And I was kind of like off put, stuck, and I was like, what? And I maybe even a little angry. And then I slept on it and I realized I have never been told something that was blatantly more true in my life. And I really believed that everybody is put in your path for a reason and that it was only really Bob Burridge that could have said that to me, that could have altered the course of where I was going. And graciously enough, he drove me to the airport in the morning and we had breakfast and it was really this beautiful pier. We sat as peers eating breakfast and I knew that when I left that studio and when I went home to paint, my life was going to be totally different artistically. And for some reason, faces, faces started coming out everywhere. And I attribute the push 
the nudge, the kick from Bob Burridge that helped me understand what that meant. Now, I'm not even sure when I got home started painting that I understood what it meant until about a year later. And I moved into this studio and the first exhibit in the gallery was going to be my figurative work, my faces. And I had them all hung in the hallway and my best friend walked in for the first time and she would, and she caught her breath. And I was like, what, are you okay? <laughs> and she said, Donna, these are all you. And it gives me chills to this day. And I was like, what? And she goes, Donna, and none of them are smiling. And as I looked around, I was kind of in awe of what she'd said, but a little bit in shock. And because I had just been working kind of piece by piece and not really taking in the magnitude of all of them hung together, that I think I really did paint myself. And, every and whether day. they look like me or don't look like me, I really truly believe I left a piece of myself on every one of those canvas, in every one of the eyes of the figures I had left, in the expressions, in the, in the posture. And it was the first time as an artist I had ever elicited an emotion so breathtaking from another person that I really knew that something in me had changed and Bob Burridge was the reason that it had changed. So I wanted to share just a little bit of my mentor story. Bob Burridge is coming back again this February. He is super powerful as an artist, meaning he is in museums, he is in galleries, he is an incredible artist with a lifetime of experience to be learned from. And I am so fortunate that I got to spend that time with him at the right time at the right place in what I needed to hear. And I am grateful because I think a lot of times those moments can go unrecognized. And I guess what I want to share to you is that just taking that time for yourself could mean more than just an escape away. It could be finally hearing what you need to hear when you need to hear it about your work as an artist. And being open to hearing that could just quite possibly alter the course of your art.